everybody, this is Eris, and welcome to my Skyrim Let's Play. Um, this is the first episode, and uh, I have, uh, I'm sure, I mean, this game came out in 2011. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone, if they haven't have played it, that they definitely know someone who has played it, like I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I mean, even my friends who, who don't play video games have played at least a few minutes of Skyrim. It's probably like one of the most well-known games now. Um, anyway, still going strong. I mean, it's been six years since it came out. So um, anyway, uh, now this one, what I'm gonna play today is something that has been heavily modded. Uh, I have last, my, my last loot count, um, I'm up to 219 active mods, so yeah, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> um, and in fact, some of these mods, I mean, a, a lot of them, um, you know, sometimes when I play, I'll just kind of like pick and choose and be like, oh, I want to, you know, tailor it to this kind of game style. Uh, this time around, though, I just kind of put on all of them, especially all the ones that weren't like actively conflicting against each other. Um, so there's a lot of stuff going on in the background, um, and it's going to look probably very differently from what you're used to if you've never played Skyrim modded before. So, um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and... I've already made my character. Um, we are starting fresh. Uh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, there's a little pause of... of <laughs> <laughs> fear there uh so my recording software in the background is pretty big and or i don't know what it is anyway it slows down the game obviously because i've got multiple things going on all, all at once um and uh i do apologize uh for whatever reason the recording software that i use will tend to sacrifice video quality over my gameplay so like, I'm seeing the screen and it looks flawless, but your video at the end may get fuzzy in parts. So I'll try really hard to kind of like not do any quick moves or something. Um, I, I've got all the settings as high as I can go without crashing my machine. So, and unfortunately that doesn't necessarily mean they're very high at all. <laughs> I'm just, this is, this is the max I can get guys. So anyway, um, all right, so I've already made my character because it, it takes me a while usually to pick out my character. I'm playing a wood elf. I don't even remember what I named her. Um, Blasley, maybe. So, all right, first first thing you notice, um, I I actually really like this mod. I, I promise this isn't a review mod, but a, re a review video. But um, this the Skyrim Souls. It's such, it's such a simple thing, and yet I found, like, I really like it. It does make the game, like, a bajillion times harder, though, so that's a consideration. But basically, it just, um, see how the flame is still flickering in the background? Yeah, that's because it's not actually paused. Like, people, if there were enemies in here, they would still be killing me. So, anyway. Um, all right, I made this character... And now I have no idea where I want to start. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> where should we start? Um, the the. Let's see. Hold on. Let me choose this first, and I'll go into it. I don't really like the vanilla start, which is why I always have alternate start. I, I mean, I should say I liked the vanilla start when the game was new, but I've I've had probably easily 40 characters. And so, you know, when when you when you do the vanilla start 40 different times, it gets a little boring after a while. So, I'm going to do I'm a pilgrim to a sacred site. I have I have the religion mod on. So, let's see how this works.
Okay, that's off in the snow, but I don't have frost fall on yet, so. Uh, I don't even remember where pyrite is. Are these the only people that have, like, Where's Approach my child Chiogora? and choose where your new life shall begin. Yeah, that's who I like. I like Shiogora. <laughs> there should be another one, like a temple one. No, that's Vigilant Stendar. I'm a pilgrim to a temple. You know what? It's been so long since I've been in Markar. Maybe we'll do that. You know what? No, I I changed my mind. I'm sorry, guys. Approach my child. <laughs> I'm like really tempted to re-record this, shall begin. but I promised it myself I wouldn't. So, um, we're gonna actually start relatively close to the vanilla, but we're gonna jump over all of the vanilla, if if that makes sense. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to do, God, where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Hold on. Uh, there we go. I am camping in the woods. I'm a wood elf. That makes sense. I'm camping. The woods can be so peaceful this time of year. Good hunting. Yes, thank you. Um, okay, so one of the reasons I wanted to do this specifically, with, to do this Let's Play specifically, is that I have, hands down, like, my favorite mod ever is is relics of hyrule and if you've never heard of it before which maybe maybe you haven't because i feel like not a lot of people have especially not a lot of skyrim modders um i, I feel like all the legend of zelda fans have heard of it <laughs> because it's like the first thing you look for um oh gosh your screen just went blank okay there we go Whew. i was afraid maybe i maybe i crashed my machine okay but anyway yeah relics of hyrule like I feel like it doesn't get the attention it really deserves because it's it's this huge DLC size mod and it's just so well done and it's he's he's made it all lore friendly which is you know can be kind of hard to do at, at the very least you see the other Legend of Zelda mods and it, it you know very lore breaking um and uh yeah I, don't know. I really don't want to reflect see there's the dragon so Yep. All right. Uh, pop up screens. Um, <laughs> all my all my mods are starting. <laughs> so, but yeah. So I I really like this mod. So so the thing that I really wanted to do with this was, um, sorry, it's getting kind of disjointed here. Uh, was actually go through and see how far into the mod that I can do. Um. Like the, it's so big that there's like oh there's like a player's guide for it now. <laughs> there's like so much stuff, um, and uh, so I want I want to kind of do this not only so I can show you guys, um, you know basically how awesome this mod is, but also um, to kind of test myself and see how much of it I can remember or figure out on my own, um, because he the guy who made it specifically made it to be. Like, it doesn't need a player's guide. Like, he didn't try- I, he hid stuff, but there's hints for literally everything. Um, and... I'm just seeing if I- Oh, come on. Dude, I can take the campfire. I never realized that. Oh, that's doing this again. I, do, do you guys have problems with this? Like, you'll try to do something. Yeah, there's my boobs. Um... And like it won't do it. Like it just gets stuck in the animation and won't actually do anything. I have I have this problem a lot for some reason. See, it's it's stuck. See, it's doing the animation. You see them like kind of moving around. Oh god, come on. There we go. Well now I'm no longer sneaking anyway. See? Like it, it thinks it's cooking and it's clearly not. Okay, come on, face the fire. Face the fire. <laughs> come on, jeez. <laughs> sometimes I can fix it, and sometimes I can't. What are you doing? 
Go back to the cooking pot. Because sometimes if you like re-click on the cooking pot or... <sighs> okay. See? I got out of it. Yeah, that is so annoying. Okay. Anyway, I totally lost my train of thought. We're going to use this. I know I was talking about, uh, we're going to use these Let's Plays to look at Relics of Hyrule. Um, I'm going to see how much I can do and how much I can find without using the cheat sheets. Because um, everything should be, like, there should be an indication of what's going on with it the whole time. Like, there's, uh, you'll see. Um, oh God, what else? I'm just, I'm prepping for my journey here. That should be enough firewood. I said that's enough firewood. Wow, this is like, this is a great start, guys. Can I take it? It says take, but it's not doing anything. Okay, that's weird. All right. All right, we're just gonna say we're done. <laughs> We're done with this. I'm leaving you. I'm leaving all of you. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, okay, yeah, so even though I didn't want to do the vanilla start, I kind of never want to do the vanilla start. Um, I did want to start nearby Riverwood and the vanilla stuff. Um, A, because there's like the low level things and B, because it's really close to kind of the beginnings of Relics of Hyrule, which is what I wanted to show you guys, so. Um, anyway, before I got stuck at that stupid campfire, you saw the dragon flying over that way. If you've never played uh, Alternate Start before, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of you probably have. I, especially if you mod, um, if you play modded Skyrim. It's, it's kind of one of the first, I don't know, beginner mods, I feel. I feel like that's the one that people, <laughs> there's, there's several things, you know, oh, I'm going to mod Skyrim first. You, you change all the textures so that people don't look potato-y and then you, you change it so you don't have to play the vanilla. I feel like those are like the step, like this, the first two steps people do when they want to mod things. But, and here's this gross corpse. See the, just barely above the top edge of the book, you can see the smoke. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> see, I just, I really like the unpaused menu screens. I just really like it. We're going to pretend I read that. I flipped through every page. That's practically reading. I've also done this particular start a lot too. It's gotten to the point where I'm almost tired of this one. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. But there was a reason I chose this one. It's because it's it's close enough to the beginning without getting stuck with the beginning. Unfortunately, it does mean that since it is close enough to the vanilla, it will lock Whiterun unless you go through this. Like, Whiterun right now is locked because of the dragon. Um, if I had started somewhere else, like if I had started like, you know, going to the Temple of Dibella, I would have still been able to leave Markarth and and head over to White Run without any issues because I would not have been close enough to Helgen to notice the dragon flying by, which is when White Run locks. So, anyway, all of that is a long winded explanation of why I have to do this. So, it's because I still want to get into White Run. Actually, I think I, think I need to get into White Run. Eh. There, there's a hint for a, a big dungeon that's hidden in white run like it the dungeon's not in white run but the hint is so it kind of helps if i can get up into dragon's reach all right you know i just realized i never actually checked to see like a what i'm wearing and b what things i have so let's do that first <laughs> before i just die um, ooh. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need that. You're gonna hear me scream my head off here in a little bit. 
Yeah. Okay. That's weird. And then just uh yep. And yep. Might as well. Uh, oh yeah. I have so many mods I forgot which ones I have. I'll put a list in the notes of this video. Um, what mods I have. Like, I'll, first of all, I'll make a list and then I'll put it up in the notes. It'll end up. It'll probably end up having to be a. Uh, I think that's all I need. Okay. And peckish and slightly thirsty, but I should be fine. Okay. Um. It'll probably end up being like a link to like a Google Docs or something. Oh my god, it's so dark in here. Jeez. Okay. There we go. I was like, I know there's a turd in there somewhere. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll do like a link to a Google Docs so you guys can see what I have. Um, uh, okay. Because there's so many that I've forgotten. Rayloff is over there, but it's also really dark. I know Hadvir's over here. <laughs> let's just let's just do Hadvir. Hadvar? Hadvar. Oh, shoot. I meant to put a patch in that I clearly didn't. Um He's supposed to be talking, but it's not voice acted, and since I don't have subtitles on. Whoops. Um he, whatever you, you you can fill in the blank basically he's telling me to get the f out because it's dangerous or something and i refuse so now he's asking for a healing potion it's it's kind of self-explanatory except for the fact that you can't actually hear what he's not saying all right now we have to get out of the cave Okay. And he should be talking again. I mean, not right now, but we're basically following uh, the vanilla dialogue at this point, so. Oh my god, I hate. Oh god, it's so dark. I'm just not even sure if I'm going the right way. Here, we'll do it this way. Sometimes it's easier just to walk backwards. <laughs> You find your light source and put your eyes to it and feel around behind you. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming that, you know, I was brushing my hands against the, the cave walls or something. We'll just, we'll pretend that was immersive. <laughs> All right. So a lot of the mods that I put on, um, I'm laughing to myself because I feel like what I'm about to say is going to make me sound like MXR, but um, I, I do really like the immersion mods. I like it when it feels immersive. <laughs> so uh, thanks, MXR. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, Looks like he's gone for good this time. Yes. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. No. Closest town from Harry's River, would you? My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. But yeah, so I uh, I have a lot of mods that, that do, um, you know, more immersion. Uh, obviously, I have, like, the compass off, and which I think is the eye HUD. Um, I've added in more things, too. Uh, like, more... Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with you. Oh, that's a bird. Okay, I thought that was like really a plant. Like I don't know. I, I just had, I've added immersive things, General I guess. <laughs> I have Frostfall, I have Hunterborn, I have realistic needs and diseases, and the cooking overhaul. Oh god. I feel like I should know the names of these, and I don't. I'm so sorry. It'll be on the list! Um, but yeah, so I have a lot of that kind of stuff. The making, you know making the living in Skyrim uh, more believable. Like I have uh, bathing in Skyrim, um, you know, so you actually have to wash, uh, that kind of stuff. I also have, or, you know, I have like more 
animals, um, more birds. Uh, I have the true wolves. I love the true wolves. I just, I like my wolves to be like fat and happy. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's so many deer, so I mean, clearly that would make sense, right? Anyway, um, I've also, I, I myself am a very, uh, I love treasure hunts. I love that kind of treasure hunt and collecting in all of my games. Um, I, I tend to be like a hoarder. Like I don't want to give anything up. I'm like, oh, I need to, gotta catch them all. You know, full on Pokemon style. Standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Yeah, Go I'm talking ahead. over him because I'm yourself. just kind of assuming that you guys, uh, <laughs> that you guys know. <laughs> This is all the vanilla stuff, so um, you've you've heard it before, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm gonna do thief. thief. It's never too late to take charge of your own fate, you know. See, I don't know. I I can never interpret if he means like I'm a thief and and so therefore I take charge of my own fate, or if I say that I'm a thief and he's basically doing the really sugar coated hint of you should take charge of your own fate and not be a thief anymore. I I can never quite figure out what he means by that comment but anyway that's me because I overthink everything <laughs> um, anyway so yeah uh, so yeah a lot of the mods that you're gonna see on here are uh, better armors and more <laughs> I took basically everything that said immersive and I put it on there um, <laughs> and then I have a bunch of um, Okay, seriously? Did you guys notice all of that? Every single time I picked up a plant, I only got one of it. That's... I'm supposed to be getting like five or six. What's going on? Okay, there we go. No, it is working. It just... That was just a weird... See? You see why I'm starting to get scared? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. I know you guys are up there. Uh... Oh, you know what? They're not going to attack because I've got Sky Test on. <gasps> Did you just go invisible? Oh, no. No, he just he jumped over me. Okay. Whew. I occasionally have issues with invisible enemies. I thought I fixed it, but I'm. it's happened, like, I don't know. It happened so much before I fixed it that now I'm scared of it, <laughs> if that makes sense. trying to pick you up. You know what? You do you do you, buddy. Look at all that blood. Wait, I should not be saying that. <laughs> I, I'm just saying it's immersive. That's that's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, anyway, so um I am now hauling a huge just assume it's over my shoulders. Maybe some things aren't quite as immersive as others. <laughs> But like I said before, it's kind of like a Pokemon game. You just like gotta catch them all. Almost river. See, what is with the freaking? I've never. Maybe you can only. I don't know. That annoys me. I'm annoyed. Okay. So anyway. Yeah, you're gonna see basically there's a, there's a ton of mods, but they they do all kind of have a theme, and that's my theme is a I want to feel like I'm actually there, and b um is it just one oh my god and b um I like to collect all the things, <laughs> all of them, <laughs> so things look quiet enough here. Come on, there's my uncle. We are gonna come back to that. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Yes, yes, we get it. What is it now, mother? Are you on me? What happens you? Shh, uncle, please. Keep your voice down. I'm fine. But we should go inside to talk. And I've got What's going on? To do to to this? I'm getting like <laughs> I wanna go talk to it. Come on, hurry up. 
but we need to go inside. I'm really tempted okay, not even okay, to listen inside. to the rest of this dialogue, but See I know I need to. to. <laughs> I want that chest. I want it. I want it. Images. Do you guys ever watch, um... Oh god, I can't- it's on the tip of my tongue. Um, Avatar The Last Airbender? Like, not the terrible movie, but the actual cartoon it was based off of? With the little guy with like the whole like, NOT MY CABBAGES! It's ruined cabbage for me now, guys. Like, I don't think you understand. <laughs> Every single time I see cabbages now, whether we- like, in real life or in video games, <laughs> it's the first thing I think of. NOT MY CABBAGES! Sigrid, we have company! Hello, Sigrid. I'm gonna take the seat. It's my chair now. It's mine. Alright, seriously? Somebody start doing something. Am I supposed to do something? Huh. Why are we just standing and around? Every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Hi. Start your dialogue. Redbar. We've been so worried about there we you. Go. Come on, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. There we go. The dialogue has no, started, no so. What's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? We did. I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tullius' skull. We were stopped in Helia when we were attacked by a dragon. Yeah, that egg is like rolling around. <laughs> a dragon? That's ridiculous. You are drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not well, much more to was... tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Did I just Mass see confusion. that, or did you guys see that as well? I don't like, know I if felt anyone like else got out alive. Her I head I made it wasn't out myself really attached here. for a second. <laughs> I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. Sure. I'm glad to help however I can. I literally met him five minutes ago. Okay. Maybe I should have been paying attention to that conversation. Whatever you need. My smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. Of course. Take what you need. I need that. I need that. I need all the food. <laughs> all the food. Okay. There There's we go. something you could do for me. There we go. For all of us here. The Yarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in White Run to send whatever soldiers he can. Oh, I'm hungry. Do that for I me. forgot to feed myself. <laughs> yep. Okay. We're just going to assume I, I know where all the places are. I mean, I was a hunter in the woods, I guess. I should know where things are. Okay. Look, it's laundry. Okay. Um, we'll just eat by the river. Hello, Did Pandrel. I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Van Dahl? Van Dahl. Van Dahl? I would stay away from him if I were you. I feel like there should be an R in there, but it was not. Um, okay. So, we are hungry. Let's just do this. Let's just do... I can have a bit more. Okay. Um... Sure. What? We're just, okay, we're just gonna leave it at that. Alright, so, ha! Look! So that's a fairy. Um, <laughs> just, it's a fairy. <laughs> and search forgotten chest. All right, forgotten sword. Yes. And a rupee. Ah, you don't see me finger gunning, but I'm totally finger guns at my uh, at my screen right now. So, and we're gonna read this note. Northeast to the ancient forge, deep into the past. Follow the Aeon path. Yes. Okay, so this is our first hint of the whole Hyrule thing, if the rupee wasn't a dead giveaway. Um, 
And uh, I know that's kind of a very teaser cliffhangery, but I think I'm at like a half an hour mark now, so um, I've weathered on kind of a bit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. That was our first hint at, uh, at Hyrule. Um, I'll talk more about it next uh, next episode, which I am hoping to have uh, online tomorrow morning. We'll see. Uh, it actually it doesn't really take me that all that long to record these and, and get them all you know, formatted. And hey, it's uh, it's Labor Day, so I don't have to go to work today. So anyway. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, end it here, and, what am I doing? I'm trying to save, that's what I'm trying to do. So yeah, I will see you guys next time, thanks for watching, bye!